So have you ever heard of the last Thursdayism conspiracy theory? Uh-uh, I haven't. Um, basically, it it goes on the lines that, like, in the Bible it says that God created the earth and the heavens in seven days. On the seventh day, he rested. So he made it all formed. He made it all formed. He just put everything there, and it manifested. Um, it, it manifested in his, in the image that he wanted to give off the appearance of like earth it didn't just appear as a new earth it appeared with like mountains he put mountains he put different um geographical patterns that show like wear and tear like that it's been there for a long time that it's in use anyway the last thursdayism theory is that going along that our universe or our timeline our dimension whatever reality this is in could have just been made last Thursday when you go outside of it so like say you're like in the matrix the matrix could have been made last Thursday but we're inside it and it feels like it's been thousands billions of years of existence of the planet Uh and then that can go and then sometimes I like to look at that in reverse we're like we're already dead and we're just experiencing it at a slower time rate like like how the star explodes you'll still see the light for years after when it actually happened if it's far enough yeah and then it'll fade away by the time the, the light fades away it'll have been exploded for a long time it's just the way time works in this reality that's super interesting I can see that and that reminds me slightly of Westworld just, I don't know how, but in the fact that kind of their time works like that, you know, they have no actual concept, the robots or whatever have no concept of actual time because it's being controlled by other people, they have false memories, all this that were implanted, Mm -hmm. and I love that show because it shows kind of like the ancient alien theory, but in the way that I think of us in a simulation, really when the Native Americans were depicting gods or whatever they were actually depicting the scientists that were coming up above ground to work on them or do maintenance and stuff and people that were part of the simulation that kept the simulation in check i think that's in ancient times what we were doing we're just depicting these beings that were in charge of the simulation keeping it in check and whatnot and now it's gotten to the point where it's just UFOs. Like, I mean, that's what I think UFOs are for the most part, too. They could also be just, like, in Westworld, scientists, you know, checking up on the simulation. That's what UFOs maybe are, or just probes for the simulation or whatever. They can kind of control time. Think of abductions. People have time loss and time gets frozen and all this shit. Like, maybe there is something to that. Yeah, that's really that's a really interesting way to look at it like that. The, the the first religions and like the first UFO encounters are just like for all we know like an I, the IT department oh. of, the, of the simulation maybe it's just like the night crew like in Westworld yeah. and then exactly. those just get distorted into gods exactly <laughs> yep beings above their but they probably have their own gods too yep exactly and I think in reality, we do too. Have you heard? I mean, you probably heard about the Watchers or the 200 angels, like the angels that came to Earth to watch us and stuff, right? Like in the Bible and all that. Yeah. They're mentioned in a lot of religions, but I think there's something major to that. I think that's actually possibly what UFOs are and whatnot. And kind of like Westworld, that's the whole Lucifer and God thing. Lucifer was one of the Watchers or angels or whatever that broke away from God. Because I think the Watchers were created by it, whatever the main god or the main whatever you want to think of, the main simulation thing. They made these Watchers to kind of do their thing on Earth, watch us and stuff, but they started partaking in too much. They started having sex with women, all that, which actually symbolizes like uh, uh, like Odin, Zeus, all of them, they had kids with actual women and then they came out to be giants or whatever. That's, I think, an actual thing. I think the Watchers did do that. And, like, low-key, 
Odin's son, he's actually just a giant, but he had sex with a woman and he just has some of that watcher angel DNA in him or whatever. So I think there was like an intermixing of the watchers and us there for a while. And just like in Westworld, Bernard is like Lucifer and the fact that he broke away, he wanted to give us free will and consciousness or he wanted to give the robots and Westworld free will and consciousness to be actual humans. And then Anthony Hopkins is like God. He wanted to keep them in check and just be robots and stick to the system and all this. Yeah. So I think there is something to all that as well. That's Sorry. a cool metaphor. Yeah, I was like trying to get it all out there without forgetting everything, but I like that idea of how like Bernard just wanted them to experience consciousness. Yeah. And it's like a, it was like a taboo in that in that show. In that system. And like how you were seeing the the gods uh, procreating with with us lesser beings was like a taboo for them too. Yeah. Like they're messing with the simulation. They're messing with the balance. And that's why I think the flood was an actual thing and whatnot, where they just have to restart everything because simulation or the stuff they were creating was getting all intermixed and stuff. I do think they were even experimenting with half animal, half human hybrids, like they describe in Greek mythology and stuff, and had to get rid of some of that shit. It's funny because we're we're starting to mirror that too we're, now. Yep, we're doing They've it already again. created like a functioning heart from big. Yep. Yep. It's interesting. We're the seed to our own demise. We're coming close to that same point. Yeah, I agree. That's why I think something major. It's all a cycle. I think it will restart again eventually. It's probably ha been going on for like infinity. A eon, Maybe. yeah, I would say. I think it's something that just has continued to go on. That's kind of like that psychic I was watching the other day. That's what she was even saying, that this alternate timelines and us being on different timelines and Mandela effect and all that shit has all just been something that's been going on for eon. It's just a repeated cycle of simulation or whatever the fuck this is.